Now let us see how different factors are impacting the demand and supply, right? First factor is the differences in the inflation. So in the case one, when inflation increases, when the rate of inflation increases, that means in the international market, from the point of view of export, our products become less competitive. Because when the cost of our product will increase in the international market, the demand will come down. It is very natural, right? So inflation in the domestic market, it will lead to reduction in the export. And when export is reduced, that means the foreign exchange supply, foreign exchange supply is reduced. When foreign exchange supply is reduced, that means the price of foreign currency can increase the price of foreign currency can increase. That means the external value of Indian rupee can decrease. That means there is the condition of depreciation of domestic currency. I hope the concept is very clear to you. Case two. Inflation is decreased. The rate of inflation is reduced. In that case, the export will increase, right? If export is increased, the foreign exchange currency will increase. The supply of foreign currency will increase. The demand will not increase suddenly, right? So the value of foreign currency will come down. The value of domestic currency will go up. So there will be appreciation in the value of rupee, right? So this is how this uh, con controlling the inflation or reduction in the inflation can help. Now what is the, so this was the impact on the export as far as inflation is concerned. From the inflation, what is the impact on the import? So if there is inflation in the domestic country, that is the prices of domestic country products are increasing, then the buyer will go outside country also and will check whether the prices are less or more outside India. And wherever it the customer feels that the prices are low, the person will buy from outside India, right? So because of increase in the domestic products price, the import will increase. If the import increases, if the import increases, that means we have to pay foreign currency. So the foreign currency demand will increase. That means the foreign currency value will increase. The price of the foreign currency will increase. That means the value of the domestic currency will come down. So you can see that this inflation is actually impacting the demand and supply both on the side of import and on the side of export, right? So it is impacting the demand and supply of the currency. Second, differentials in the interest rate. Why interest rates are important? So it is the interest rate based upon which the foreign investors are investing into any country. So take for example, USA is having the rate of interest of 2% per annum. So in the developed countries, the rate of interest is really very low. The countries like India, which are developing, the rate of interest is very high, around 6% to 8%, for example. So any investor in the world would always like to invest into the country like 
India because the rate of interest is very high in India right so in USA the rate of interest is low however at the same time in USA the benefit is that there is virtually no risk so risk is very very less in USA in India the rate of interest is high but risk is also high right now how this interest rate differentiation can impact suppose the USA is giving 2% and India is giving 6% in the existing scenario now USA increases the rate of interest to 4% and India does not change its rate of interest so in the USA rate of interest is 4% and risk is very very less because there is a strong financial stability of the USA so because of the increase in rate of interest in the USA what will happen that foreign investment which is available in India or the prepared people who have invested into India they will bring their money back to the USA they will take their money back to the USA and because of this transaction because of this outflow of money from the India to the USA the foreign exchange supply will reduce in India and because of reduction in the supply the price will increase the price of the foreign currency will increase and the uh, price of the domestic currency will decrease the external value of the domestic currency will decrease right so this is the impact of the interest rate and vice versa that means when India increases the interest rate as compared to USA the people will invest more into India so the investment will come into investment will come into India if investment comes into India that means the foreign currency supply will increase in India if the foreign currency supply increases in India the value of the foreign currency will come down or from other perspective if the people want to invest into India because the rate of interest is high in India they will try to buy Indian rupee because to invest into Indian market they need Indian rupee so when they try to buy Indian rupee that will increase the demand of the Indian rupee and the supply of Indian rupee will not increase suddenly so there is increase in the demand but supply do not increase suddenly because of that the value of the Indian currency will go up right so can you see that this rate of interest differential is also impacting the demand and supply both third public debt now how will this impact the demand and supply of the foreign currency so if the public debt is high that means the Indian government might have to take the foreign currency loan right so the loan may have to be taken on that loan the interest has to be paid and if interest has to be paid that interest will be the outgo of the foreign currency and in the future this loan will also be returned so overall this because of this public debt there will be outflow of the foreign currency in the future and that will actually reduce the supply of the foreign exchange next is terms of trade terms of trade basically means the export prices versus import prices right so if the export prices of India's goods is very very good that means their export potential is high so they will bring more foreign currency and that means more supply of foreign currency that means the value of the foreign currency will go down that means the value of the domestic currency will go up right 
so if the export prices of indian goods are good that will have a positive impact and vice versa if the export prices are low then it will have a negative impact import prices in case of import prices if the import prices for the india's goods for example the oil if the if the prices of oil are increasing increasing and increasing because there is a shortage because there is a uh, crisis in the syria iraq etc because of all those crises if the prices of the oil are increasing 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 that means the foreign currency demand the foreign currency requirement will be high from side of india we have to buy more foreign currency right so because of the increase in the demand of the foreign currency the value of the foreign currency will increase the price of the foreign currency will increase and the price of the domestic currency will come down so this terms of trade is also impacting the demand and supply next political stability so consider there are two countries one is a country like india comparatively stable and the and another is the country like syria or afghanistan where there is no stability for the past over 10 years so in which country the foreign investor will be interested in investing the amount the answer is very clear india because india is politically stable country right so in the politically stable country the foreign exchange will come more that means the supply of the foreign currency will increase that means the value of the foreign currency will come down and the value of the domestic currency will appreciate right economic performance economic performance so compare two countries china and india whose economic performance is good the answer is china the economic performance of china is more or much better than the economic performance of the india so which country will attract more foreign exchange answer is china so whose domestic currency will appreciate answer is china so this political stability and the economic performance also impact the demand and the supply of the foreign currency and ultimately the exchange rate is also determined because of all these factors right so all these five factors they are responsible for change in the demand and supply they are responsible for change in the demand and supply which will ultimately impact the exchange rate and this increase in the external rate external value is called appreciation and decrease in the external value is called depreciation so these demand and supply forces are working in case of the flexible exchange rate market or floating exchange rate market so please be aware about that now exchange rate it varies depending upon the demand for and the supply of currencies so we have discussed this thing in detail now please read this question and this question has been asked twice in 2012 and in 1998 so there is no surprise there will be no surprise if this question is asked again so take one minute and answer this question your time starts now and then we will discuss about this So, let us discuss this question. The price.
price of any currency in international market is decided by number one world bank answer is no never never number two demand for goods and services provided by the country concerned yes it impacts the level of export and import actually impacts stability of the government of the concerned country yes so we have already seen it impacts and economic potential of the country in question so this is a statement to think about right so before we decide the answer let us see the options which of the statements given above are correct so we know that statement number one is wrong that means option a is wrong option d is also wrong so either option b or option c is the correct answer we have already seen statement two and three are correct so answer is option b statement two and three right so this is how we can solve the previous year question if we know the the concept in detail so this kind of question you cannot solve from the standard textbook beat any textbook you can you cannot solve the question if the question is of this level of difficulty now <clears throat> so exchange rate fluctuation either there can be fixed exchange rate resign or there can be flexible exchange rate resign right in case of fixed exchange rate resign we have already seen there can be either devaluation or revaluation in case of flexible exchange rate resign they can be either depreciation or appreciation right so now we will discuss each one of them